most recently known as animating for Will Smith. Yes, the actual Will Smith that you've seen in Hollywood movies. Lawrence Becker, aka Sampler Times, is another phenomenal talent in the world of stop motion animation on the internet. His work is proof that anyone can see what you are doing, reach out to you and commission work. Even A-list celebrities. From animating pumpkins, to animating cheese, and some more commonly animated materials too, this guy has got some seriously incredible skills. So, how has Becker's work developed over time and led him to stop motion stardom? Well, if you scroll back through Becker's Instagram feed, you can clearly see the early seeds of some of his most popular techniques and ideas being sown. It's quite inspiring to see the creative journey of ideas through from infancy to fully fledged and fantastic animated masteries. Paper, pumpkins, felt on glass, they were all there from 2013 and possibly these ideas began even before then too. Let me highlight one of my favourites and we can see some technique evolution in action. So, you can see the first publicly documented foray into stop motion pumpkin art with his Donald Trump head. The first of many heads to be carved in this way. And now, seven years on, it is quite a bit more mesmerising in its execution. And now, we put it all together, check it out. So, if you have a specific idea or technique that you enjoy, stick at it. Over multiple years of work, your talent is going to compound and become totally terrific too. This is also a reminder that creative people aren't just brilliant from day one. Brilliance is always within your work, but you have to hone and polish your craft, put in the hours over and over to fully see your talent thrive. So is this how Becker found success? Essentially, yes. I believe he is a testament to that classic formula of being consistent over a long period of time. There really is no easy shortcut. Sure, you can get lucky and a lot of successful people have got to where they are through luck. But luck finds people that are putting themselves out there over and over again. Trying new things, developing new skills, and more importantly, being consistent. Becker began with lots of creative experiments, clearly documented on Instagram. You can see how some ideas have stayed the course of time and evolved into hero content, and others have just faded away. But by trying lots of things to find out what you ultimately enjoy the most is what you should be doing too. It's honestly the best method to evolve and find your own unique voice or style with any kind of art form. What else can we learn from Sampler Times? Well, sometimes success is going that extra mile. No, I'm not talking about running, although it might be applicable there too. But if you want a career that less than 1% of people are doing, then you have to be willing to put in the efforts that over 99% of people just aren't willing to do. We all know that stop motion animation can be tricky as it is, but despite that, Becker pushes what's possible and gives his work that extra 10%. And it truly makes all the difference. The details and thought behind the work really make his ideas pop, quite literally sometimes. From what I can deduct, Becker also utilises the craft and specialisms of others to help elevate his own work too collaborating with other creators on puppets and props. Outsourcing these things, if you're able to, can really add to the production value overall. I think it's super important to know what you are good at and what you love, and if you can, pass on other roles to better suited people, to make the whole production more enjoyable for everyone and end up reaching a higher quality of work too. Another interesting aspect to Becker is that he hasn't been completely pigeonholed into just one specific type of stop motion. His work remains fairly varied. 
Like I said before, he of course has his hero concepts, but there are other strands that have held the test of time too. When you look at other creators at his level, this is pretty unusual. A lot of creators get typecast into a specific look or technique. So I really admire Becker for being able to stay more open with his work. It's really quite refreshing to see an animator who has risen up the ranks whilst maintaining a diverse range of work that is never just one thing. So find your thing or things, document your progress, you'll love yourself in a few years when you can look back on your journey, and uh, remember that being good at something is not a race, it's a process. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like the other videos in this mini documentary series linked on screen now. Thank you very much for watching, and if you like what I do, you can find ways to support me in the description box as well.